what's up everybody this is motor Merc coming to you from sweltering hot southern california with a topic that many of you know is near and dear to my heart so anyway i'll get right down to the point some of you who are into the craft beer scene may already have heard that some pretty high profile local breweries popular microbrews were recently bought out or you might say they sold out to multinational corporate interests. So some of these that are of note include St. Archer, which was uh, ostensibly created uh, specifically to be sold out. That's a San Diego brewery. Golden Road, which was sort of had predictable business practices along the same lines, and they sold out to Anheuser-Busch, uh, uh, AB InBev, and this is, uh, uh, that's particularly insulting because, and I think St. Archer went to AB InBev too, but the reason that's particularly insulting is that AB InBev's current marketing campaign, their strategy, is specifically to attack craft beer to sell more of their garbage, piss water, faux nouveau lager bullshit that they sell. And here they are buying craft beer companies at the same time, so I don't know who they're trying to fool. I don't think they're fooling anybody on either side of this debate. But anyway, the, the point being, they bought, uh, I think they bought St. Archer. They definitely bought Golden Road. Uh, Lagunitas just got bought out by Heineken, which some people are upset about. And Firestone Walker, a brewery that I really like, another mid-Southern California brewery, got bought out by Duvel. And uh, somebody, you know, people have been posting about this on Facebook, and one of my friends uh, posted up a reply, a comment on one of these posts that basically, you know, he just said, uh, it's fucking beer, you guys, who cares? And there are actually a, a long list of reasons why I think it's not just fucking beer. This is, it's a reflection of our society and the direction that our country is headed. And I'm going to elaborate on this because it's important to me and I want to share it. And I, you know, I think it's, it should be important to everyone because it is a reflection of our society as a whole. It's not just fucking beer. So the analogy that I've been making when I try to explain this to people is to a hole-in-the-wall restaurant. You know, I always prefer to go to a hole-in-the-wall place, a local place, patronize a local establishment because it might not, you know, the food there might not be healthier, it might not be more delicious in an absolute blind taste test kind of a way, but I, it's more satisfying to go and patronize these local establishments because you're supporting the local community, you're supporting local people, you're, you're supporting the uniqueness of uh, neighborhoods and the people who live there, and, and these, these small local businesses come up, uh, you know, they sprout up from the community and they reflect the community that they come from because they are founded by people who are from that community, right? So these local businesses give character and uniqueness and uh, culture to local communities. When you go to, uh, you know, when you visit a new town, you want to see what is unique and interesting about that town. You want to see what sort of restaurants they have, what sort of uh, whatever, what sort of shopping, whatever they have there. You, you know, you want to see what makes that town special and different. You don't want to show up and see a bunch of Chipotle's and Burger King's and Taco Bell's because that there's nothing unique or local about that. You're not learning anything new going to a new place by seeing those corporate chain restaurants there. So the same thing applies to breweries. When a, a company is founded, when a small local brewery is started, it started by people in that local community. They're making small batches for people in that community and they rely on that local community for their support because they don't have big distribution deals yet. They're small. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they have to sell local. These people, you know, they, these companies rely, uh, like, I, like I said, they, they rely on the community for support. So if you are a fan, if you're a supporter, of one of these local breweries, then, you know, you're putting your faith in them to sort of continue being a part of the community. And you, I, I mean, you could argue, I guess, that there's no particular 
uh, whatchamacallit, there's no responsibility on the part of these companies to give back to the community if you want to argue that Namby pamby bullshit like honor and compassion or and loyalty have no place in capitalist society then I guess you could argue that if you want but that's not the way I feel and when you're a fan of one of these local places and they sell out to a corporate interest so for example Golden Road is a has been uh, one a flagship local craft brewery in Los Angeles for for years now I mean they're, they've been here for four years they've been growing they've been one of the most high profile local craft breweries in Los Angeles and that's always been cool and now that they're selling out it's like we're losing that a lot of their programs you know we're not gonna have faith in them to keep those programs going that they've done they're not gonna be giving back to the community that's responsible for their success anymore because now all that like they for example they have a, a beer that's called uh, heal the bay ipa and the whole shtick behind that beer is that some of the proceeds from that beer from the, from their sales go to help the environment heal the bay ipa so now that golden road has sold out and anheuser-busch inbev is going to be taking the reins how interested do you think ab inbev is going to be in healing the bay given their track record given their attitude and their marketing campaigns about craft beer and all that other everything about them like the, they have no incentive to maintain these programs they have no connection to the local community so as a fan of these kinds of local craft breweries which i am and which many people are, when one of these breweries that relied on us, on our support and our loyalty to get started, uh, when they sell out, it, it looks to us like a huge middle finger up our nose, like we don't give a, a shit how we got here and who's responsible for our success. We're going to sell out. We're going to cash out on our success and we're going to huck it all in the name of quick and easy money and, and these are not breweries that need this kind of influx either like in the case of uh, Lagunitas they're you know they're they make not just revenue they make profits in the seven figures right this is a huge company it might even be more than seven figures I don't know they, they make millions of dollars of profit okay and yet they feel the need to sign to sell out to Heineken because they could write off the entire company for one 500 million dollar check that's kind of messed up i mean well i i understand it's business to them they don't care but uh, again what i'm trying to explain to you is not that it's uh wrong from a business standpoint i understand it from a business standpoint i'm trying to explain why to us as craft beer fans it sucks and why it hurts and why it is hurtful to communities and why it's hurtful to local neighborhoods that that whose, whose character is defined by these kinds of local businesses we're losing that when these local breweries sell out to to corporations so anyway it sucks and i think the reason it's a big deal is because this isn't just about beer like this recent development with breweries is a reflection on what's happening broadly, globally, like all of our local communities, a lot, tons of local businesses and independent startups get bought out by corporations like this and they lose their character. All the, the innovation goes out of them, except in the rare occasion that the company buying them out can profit off of it in some way. Like there's no way AB InBev is gonna profit off of Heal the Bay IPA's investment in the environment. They're not gonna give a shit about that. So anyway, that's my rant, that's my soapbox spiel. It's not just fucking beer. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, I hope you guys are enjoying the new camera angle. Thought I'd try something new and fun out for a change. I don't think I'm gonna keep it for very long because I don't think it's probably safe. The way my helmet is tethered up 
to the camera this way, there's no place where the cable can break easily in a crash, so my head could kind of get twisted around if I got caught the wrong way. And I'm also just not really sure how safe it is to have a, a tripod mounted in the pillion position, so... Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, but it's probably only going to last one day, so... Unless I can figure out a, a way that's safer to do it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry if I got a little heated there, but it's an important topic to me. Bo both of those topics, those angles are important to me. Both the beer, just because I love beer, and the aspect of... Uh, community integrity.